Okay, so there's this new thing that I discovered how to do using my Logitech G15 keyboard. And um, somebody posted this online. I actually don't remember where it was from, but they had this idea to use um, Auto Hotkey to fake a key press from F13, F14, F15, all the way up to F24, which, um, if you pay attention to how a keyboard works, uh, it only goes up to F12. So having those keystrokes F13 to F24 is actually really useful for certain things. Even though most programs can recognize them, no program has it, you know, mapped by default. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I create these, and it's very, very simple. It's just a very simple auto hotkey script. Um, you press F1, it just gives you a tooltip so you know what's going on. It waits for one second, and then it sends the virtual keystroke of F13. So very, very simple. Here's what I do. Keyfaker.autohotkey. Run this script. It's uh, running down here. Yep, that's it. Um, ignore this. We did pay for Windows licenses, but we're always swapping out hardware anyway. I don't know how it works with something that's not Logitech gaming software, but it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Click on the macro, assign new command. Here we are in the single keystroke mode. You can do multiple, but I just want a single. So the trouble is, um, if you'll notice, I have it set up where F1 will cause a keystroke of F13. But if I'm in here and I actually physically press F1 when I'm still in the Logitech gaming software, here's what happens. Nothing. So it just picked up F1, and that's because it's clever and it knows itself. So that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to press F1 on another window and then switch to Logitech gaming software. So watch, I'm going to do this again. F1, click, bam, F13. See, it waited one second and then it fired F13. Say OK, and there we go, I have F13. Let's just do it one more time here. Assign new command. If I press F2, it's just going to give me an F2. So if I go over here and I press F2 and I click here, F14, say OK. And just one more time on this, assign new command. And it doesn't have to be clicking on here. Like I can click on literally anything. So like I'll just go on to a Explorer window and uh, click on it, press F3, click here, F15, say OK. So as you can see here, I have the whole suite of uh, F 13 through F24. Let's see here. So I'm just going to press all these buttons. Uh, this is my visualizer that I made in AutoHotKey. It's capable of recognizing that something's been done. So surprisingly, Adobe Premiere, as crappy as it is, is actually capable of recognizing F13 through F24. Let's say create new sequence. Let's assign that to F19. But notice it's a little question mark. And even if you copy everything to clipboard and you look at it, it still shows up as a question mark. However, when I go here and I press it, it actually works. It's capable of recognizing F19, even though it just gives you a little question mark. So you can see that I've actually mapped some other things to uh, the function keys that it shows as a question mark. And it's also capable of recognizing it when you pair it with a control key. And I assume also when you pair it with a shift key or an alt key. So in fact, you could have control alt F13, control shift F13, control shift alt F13. Uh, there's a ton of combinations that you can use uh, that you can launch either from a macro or from auto hotkey or from anything else. Um, so I find that all very useful and very interesting. And again, the way that I made these control ones is to just do the same thing and have it be control F13. Or I could say control shift F13, or I could say control shift alt F13 when I'm creating this. So actually let's just let's just do that right now. So that's F1. I'm just going to show you how this works again. Key faker, let's reload that script. So now F1 will do control shift alt F13. Let's try it out. Uh, unassign that one. Let's assign new command. I'm just going to click in here and I'm going to press F1. Click and bam. Control, Shift, Alt, F13. Say OK. And there it is. So now I can actually map that one. Again, I can map that to anything I want. I can say that I want a new sequence to be that. Control, Alt, Shift, F13. And it totally works. And that's amazing. So I'm actually going to use these as interesting like modifier keys and all sorts of other cool stuff um, in my upcoming tutorials. So this is just my tutorial showing you how to get the keystrokes F13 through F24 
onto whatever keyboard software driver whatever thingy that comes with your keyboard that has macros on the keyboard physically. And you can use auto hotkey to fake those keystrokes, as I just showed you. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my probably longer than it needs to be tutorial on this concept. I'll see you guys later, I guess.